And now, <laughs> presentations of awards. Galumph, 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 galumph. All right, number one, please. Here we've got it. Good afternoon, everybody. Have you had a fantastic time here? Yeah. Yeah. special events that you wanted to? <laughs> so there was never so much to do that I know you didn't have time to take everything in. Well, the extraordinary Lisa Bennett and myself, I come to Wesley, are back again this year to um, be the judges and the coordinators for the art projects event that we had Friday evening. And our young Miss Tilly Hawthorne joined us as a guest judge. So we have the results of the categories, and we had some amazing, amazing pieces of art, creation, uniqueness. So before we even tell you who won, we need to give a round of applause to everyone who was part of the Friday Night Festival. Let's hear it. that are just waiting to find out if you won. I'm going to turn it over to the extraordinary Lisa Bennett, and she's going to tell us the results of the creepy doll houses. Yes, thank you so much for making these. These were beautiful. I, and having the before pictures to see them before they even became what they were is fascinating. This is the best contest ever and the hardest contest to judge. It's very, very difficult. I want you to know that. We don't take it very lightly. We really discuss it. So without further ado, for the Creepy Doll Houses, our first place is Linda Ketchum. For those of you who have been through the events, I will be posting photographs with the listings of the winners yes. later today. Yes. So you'll be able to see the pictures of the pieces that we're talking about. But Linda, Linda's house was as steampunk and as mysterious as you could get. Telescope, astrolabe, lights, rocking chairs, moving yes. without it's any Yes, yes. <laughs> and it's amazing what they did with that. So, okay. Second place we have Janine Wardell. One thing she did is she also made the backyard. Yeah. She had a circle of caskets yeah. with families of past that were in a lovely little gathering around, I don't know, was it a fire, I think? It was very creative. It was very nice. Very nice. And our third place is Carol Kaufman. Oh, Carol's. This piece, for those of you that remember going through, was a small piece, but it was amazing. You had to turn it. It was on a, a spindle to be able to turn around. And you could see the back of the house, and it was filled with ghosts and spirits and things like that. Just an amazing work. Carol, congratulations on being third place also. And we always have to add an honorable mention because we can't fit everyone in one, two, and three. And this would be Joyce Fleming. Very good. Let's hear from Joyce. For those of you who know, Joyce's house was very lightened and very colorful, and when you looked at it from the front, the glass window above the entrance portico would flash at you like lightning flashing in the lights. So amazingly done. And hers was very much one you can play with, mm -hmm. not just to look at. And one thing we did say and didn't say is there were some of the pieces that were available for sale. Yes. So if you remember seeing something that you like, let us know and we can get you in contact with the artist if it was for sale. We can let you know or not. Okay, this was my favorite category because who doesn't like a creepy baby doll? <laughs> right? How many, how many of you enjoy a little creepy doll? Eyes open and close and things like that. Well, we had some really creative pieces. Our first place winner was Victoria Golis. She did all the sculpture of the Gashi from Young Lady from the story. Congratulations, Victoria. Our 
second place where there was a delightful creepy doll that loved playing in a garden of dead flowers. Savan was the artist in mention, and we just could not pass by the detail that she did on that project. Yes, she even had a hand come down the head. Yes, I, I kind of called it a picture for And our third place winner were Michelle and Greg Mann, and they had this wonderful little creepy evil little boy. He kept looking at me the whole time. Yes. <laughs> he followed you around the room and literally I thought he was going to levitate. <laughs> so let's hear it for our creepy dolls and customers. The morning rays were very interesting. Something that just were fun to look at and the creativity was really, really fun. For our first place we have Linda Ketchum. White snakes. Right, so she was covered with white ghostly snakes, and there was a picture of the dearly departed in the middle. For our second place, we had Lynn, or excuse me, Carol Kaufman. That's here for Carol. Yes. <laughs> and our third place winner for the Reese, we have again Janine Wardell. Yes. This was another one of my favorites because who does not like to go through a cemetery and look at the tombstones? Anybody like doing that? How many of you do a cemetery tour to just walk in that? It's a wonderful thing to do. Well, we had three contestants that brought in tombstones. I was hoping for a little more because I was going to have somebody do mine. But our first place winner is Gayla Grice. Yes, you did. Gayla, you have to do the If you didn't see that one, it was really large and it had a picture of Grandma. It's right outside of parlor number three. Yes. It's devoted to Grandmama. Our second place winner was Richard Kelly. This was a white. This looks like alabaster with a skull with wings. I love wings. And then our final one actually was a dedication to one of my favorite authors. Chris Kufal did a wonderful headstone of Jules Verne. I guess I'm getting to do this one too. The next category was a small category, but we had some really unique pieces that were entered. This was the Memento Mori pieces. And our first place winner is Jennifer Noran. She did an absolutely fabulous funeral hair weaving. Are you here? Are you here? Oh, we right there. Okay, congratulations. Our second place winner was Greg Fleming. He did an absolutely amazing tin type with this spirit that was behind the morning individual. It was just fantastic. And our third place winner was Brian Thomas. He did an amazing pen and ink uh, rendition of the Edward Gorey storybook. And he started it in 1994 and finished it in 2009. It was very interesting. It was an amazing book. So let's hear it from our winners tonight. I wanted to do bad taxidermy because that's my favorite one. <laughs> I have a lot of bad taxidermy in my home. My husband, we won't even talk about that. I, I like well, the taxidermy. in the middle of the woods when yeah, you're sad. I live in the middle of the woods. We have a lot. For our first place is Pat and John Morris for Cousin Squint. Was a fish. <laughs> if you saw that, it was, was very you. cool. It was a beautiful like dark swallow in the water. Second place we have Richard Keller and the Cursed Spider Monkey, which I believe is in our front row. Yes, yeah, it's actually in front of And I count the arms on that spider monkey. He actually, I think he is a cross between a spider monkey and an octopus. <laughs> so third place is Brett King with the juvenile swamp troll. Yes. So 
Friday night. If you could stand up, I would like everybody to be able to see how many we had involved in this category. So anybody who can take it up, please stand up. Fantastic. I know there's some people that are not here um, that did have contestants, but thank you all for going through. It was a wonderful evening. We had, oh, probably 500 of you that came through. It was very busy. And keep doing it. Next year will even be more exciting, I think. Exactly. We're hunting for mummies. So. But we want to thank everybody for being a part of this. We will be sending certificates out. Unfortunately, the airship that was picking them up in Madrid ended up running into a little bit bad weather. So we will be using the newfangled email process to send you We don't know what that is, but something So please be patient. We will get them to you.